Perhaps you've heard the expression, talking out of two sides of his mouth. (laughs) Have you ever really stopped to think what that really means? Well, let me give you an illustration here. There was a man by the name of Absalom, and Absalom was a son of King David. Now, the scripture describes Absalom as being this young man that was just beautiful. He had long, flowing hair that he was so proud of, and and uh, he was the son of the king, a future heir to the throne, and uh, he just really was high on himself. And uh, Scripture says that he would go to the, uh, the, the gate of the city, and there where people of importance would be. And uh, someone would come in with a certain problem of sorts, and uh, he'd listen to their case, and then he'd say, well, I tell you what, if I was a king, I would be on your side, and I'd see it your way. And I'd, I'd, I'd rule the way you see it. And then they'd move on. And then the person who's on the other side of the situation, the one who would be the, the, the person who had been harmed or, or maybe they're the one that looks at the other person that was wrong, and he'd, he'd talk to them. And when he talked to them, he'd listen to their case. And then he'd say, I tell you what, if I was the king, then I would see it your way. And I would rule in your favor. And so now he's told both sides that he would rule in their favor. And what's he doing? That's right. He's talking out of two sides of his mouth. Now, what this tells us is how important that what we say is and how that it can affect people and how it can hurt people. It can harm people. Of course, at the same time, the mouth can also be a beautiful instrument of, of a good because it can encourage people and it can help build people up and it can cause people to, to be swayed in a positive way or that mouth can sway people in a very negative way. That mouth, it can bring forth discouragement. It can bring forth ridicule. It can hurt people. It can cut people to the quick. That mouth, James talks about it in his writings. He says, that mouth, he said, that mouth along with the tongue, he says, it's a deadly poison. And uh, many people can be harmed and suffer greatly because of the power of words. And then we have the scripture that tells us that out of the abundance of the heart, that mouth will speak. So, what do we learn from this? They said, well, it has a lot to do with the condition of the heart. What was this thing about with Absalom? Well, he was all about wanting to be the king. And his heart was wicked. And his heart was deceitful. And uh, we know that it eventually manifested itself in the very fact that Absalom led a, a horrible coup against his father and attempted to overthrow his father's kingdom. That's what was in that young man's heart. And you see, the heart would tell on you. And that's why it's so important that we, as we listen to someone's words, that we look at their heart. This is Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast.